Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing and welcome to another Thoughts on the Book video. Today's book is The Inhuman Condition by Clive Barker. Now this is the fourth book in the Books of Blood series. Uh, this is a series of uh, books with short horror stories in them. Yes, with short horror stories in them. This is the fourth and it contains... One second... Okay, and it contains The Inhuman Condition, The Body Politic, or Politic, Revelations, Down Satana, The Age of Desire. Here they are. Okay, here they are. So this is, well, this is horror. And these are, um, there were five in there, right? Yeah, five short horror stories. Now, I really, really enjoyed this book. What enjoyed? I loved it. The horror stories are so, I don't know, enchanting. I couldn't put it down. Today was, they basically spent most of all, all my afternoon finishing this up until the evening because I couldn't put it down. It was, out of these, my favorite stories are the, the first one, The Inhuman Condition, and the last, uh, The Age of Desire. Those were those are my most favorite among all these. It's very this is very, very enchanting. I can't say I was scared, but I was very mesmerized and well disturbed at times, but not scared. But there was definitely a really eerie shit in here and I loved it. Now this is horror. And uh, for those of you who are interested in those things, there's a, a blurb, I believe you call them, by Stephen King. And it says, I have seen the future of horror, and its name is Clive Barker. This is by Stephen King, so I, I guess that's a good thing, right? Because Stephen King is uh, the, the king of horror. I don't know, for, for those of you who uh, do these things, uh, who read these things. So I loved it. <laughs> This is great. All the stories were so, were so dark and eerie and full of mutilation and blood. Especially of those of the blood. The first one was bloody awesome. I mean, boy, I, I kind of wish the first one was a book. I would love to know the whole story about it. But, you know, the, these are short stories. They're not going to be a long book. And I honestly, I wish I could get the rest, but I probably won't because these books were, these books were published. I I'm not sure exactly when, but in the eighties, these came out in the eighties. I don't know exactly what year because this it was said came out in on Goodreads and said that this was from nineteen eighty seven. So I don't know if it, if they meant the edition or the book, because on Wikipedia it says the Books of Blood came out between 1984 and 1985, so I have no idea. This really came, well, my parents were, were still kids at the time. So yeah, so... So this was amazing. I really wish I could find more of these. I was gladly read them. Uh, by the way, then this uh, you don't have to read the first one. You can start with whatever book. Well, because these only only contain short stories. So yes, so I will pine for the other ones or for something else by Clive Barker. Actually, yesterday I checked to see if he was alive. Embarrassed to say. <laughs> Just in case, you know, I don't, I don't know authors that well, though, by the way, here's a picture of Clive Barker. Uh, so, yes, this was a great book. So, if you like horror, I really, really recommend you give this a try. It was bloody awesome. Or, I mean, horror, if you like eerie and dark stuff, this is, this is fantastic. Or if you like short stories and don't mind horror or mutilation. This is also fantastic. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. These are my thoughts on The Inhuman Condition by Clive Barker. And, well, until next time. Oh, wait. Before I, before I go, 
And I say this is a very, this is a pretty cool cover. I saw some other editions of this book. There's one with the, a young girl sitting. Looks really cool, but um, this one is also pretty awesome. Oh, actually, you know, it's got some pictures that match the story. Here. I didn't notice that. Cool. So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Till next time. Bye.